I was recently having a clear out and came across this. This is a pot full of old Euro cylinder locks and there are a few padlocks in here for good measure as well. I was keeping these aside for my friend Tim who likes to pick locks because I thought he might get a kick out of trying to pick new lock cylinders. To me they're totally useless because most of them only have one key now and frankly it's cheaper to buy an entire new lock cylinder with keys than going and getting a single key cut for any of these. Something I've always wanted to try though is to mess with the bidding on a lock because I always theorize that if you adjusted the key slightly you could render a lock really useless and annoyingly so. So now is the perfect opportunity to do that. I'm going to look for the right kind of key. I think all of these keys, well this one definitely wouldn't work. So these are those flat type of security keys. Those definitely will not work. You need one of the more traditional shaped keys like this key perhaps or one like this. I mean this is a particularly nasty feeling lock so I might just do it on this one. In fact it really feels like it's <laughs> giving trouble. There we go. So that lock is now working. So if you look at how a lock works and if you watch Bosnian Bill, the lock picking lawyer, you'll see all the time that they're poking around in here pushing pins and that's because you have this bidding on the key and these push pins that, let's see if we can see them right there, you can see there there's five pins in here, there'll be a spring and a pin on the end and each uh, pin will have a follower which will be a certain height and if this key can engage that then it will push it past the shear line and you can spin the lock. Um, watch those channels for a better explanation. You see there you've got a number of grooves that have been cut into this and when you get your keys cut that's what they're cutting in, they're adjusting this. Now what I figured is if we adjust one of these just so we should make it impossible to remove from the log. So I'm basically speculating that if you make a barbed key, so the, depending on the shape of the key you may or may not be able to achieve this but let's have a go with this. For my first experiment I'm going to go with this, I mean this is the deepest one we have and I'm going to try to take the edge off here just like that so there's a hard edge here so the pin is going to hit that and hopefully that'll jam the key up good. Wow, literally I've only just worked that key, just started it and look how quickly it's cut in there. Keys are soft, I didn't realise. It's amazing they don't wear down quicker than they do. Getting a good shape there now. You can see that there's still a slight angle in it. We don't want any angle at all if we can avoid it. Oh, that's good. That's looking real deep. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit more, just as belt and braces. I think we're ready to try it. The moment of truth. It should no longer operate the lock though. I think that's going to be the problem, isn't it? <laughs> well, interestingly enough, it still operates the lock. Oh! <laughs> wow, there you go. I've made it into a thumb turn now. I really did not expect that at all. I'm really surprised it actually operates the lock. Just goes to show you how crappy these locks are. I have a feeling it's stuck in there forever. <laughs> Well, there you go, a, a top tip. I'm guessing potentially for this one you could use it like a thumb turn. If you just wanted a, a key to stay captive and lock you could do that. But I think it's only by chance that this lock is still activating really because it's probably just such a low quality or it's super worn that's allowing the key to turn anyway but really it shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay well there you go Tim if you're watching I'm gonna throw this in the box as well and you can uh, See if you can extract the key, how about that? Maybe through some sort of manipulation you could pick it out there. I'm sure locksmiths have to deal with stuck keys from time to time. So there you go, if you want to mess up a lock real good, all you need is a file 
and two seconds of your time. Thanks for watching. Just before I let you go, while editing this video, I thought of something. We were talking about the keys like this not being susceptible to the same type of attack, and it got me thinking, maybe they are. So let's have a quick go at disabling one of these. I speculate that if you drill through one of these, it's like a vertical bidding on here, you should be able to defeat the lock in the same way. So I'm just gonna pick one of the uh, grooves. Let's choose, I don't know, this third one in from the left. Okay, let's see if one hole is enough. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah, it won't go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so one hole is a bit extreme because it, it, it obviously doesn't even li like it to go in. Now I wonder if there's any way of getting it to go in further out well, just by tapping it, let's try. No, oh my word. <laughs> that is totally balked. You can't turn it, you can't pull it out, you can't put it in. Okay, so it works with those keys too.